If you are a student aspiring to study in Germany in 2025, then this fully funded scholarship program I'll be talking about in this video is for you. So we'll be talking about the DAD APOS scholarship. This scholarship is a prestigious opportunity for students from developing countries to pursue postgraduate studies in Germany. This fully funded scholarship program covers a wide range of development-related courses, including economics, sciences, engineering, public health, and more. Okay, Successful applicants receive comprehensive support, including tuition fees, living expenses, health insurance, and travel allowances. The scholarship equips scholars with the skills and knowledge to contribute to sustainable development in their home countries upon completion of their studies, okay? So if you know you have your bachelor, because this scholarship goes to graduate students, those that are going for master's or PhD programs, right? If you know you already have your uh, BSc and you want to pursue your master's or PhD, then you need to watch this video till the end. I know you don't want to miss the chance to study free in Germany, so we'll be diving into every details, okay? Everything you need to know concerning this particular DAD scholarship program, okay? But before then, please, if today is the first time you're coming across this channel, you're welcome. My name is Oli. Please do well to subscribe and turn on the bell so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be notified, okay? And you can encourage me by liking this video. Thank you. So without wasting time, let's dive right into the video. So like I said, the scholarship we'll be looking at is the DAD APOS scholarship program, okay? So the objective of the scholarship program is to promote the training of specialists from development and newly industrialized countries, right? The person who can apply for this program is a graduate with at least two years of a professional experience, okay? So there are a list of countries that are eligible for this programs if you want to know whether your country is eligible or not you can click on this link you'll be able to see the eligible countries okay we have a lot of them from europe africa north africa sub-saharan africa america south america asia south and central asia oceania east asia a lot of countries okay so you can come here when you click on that link it brings you here you come here and see if your country is eligible almost all the african countries are eligible if not all okay so nigeria is here too nigeria rwanda mali ghana gabon uh, guinea kenya uh, egypt algeria libya these are african countries morocco a lot of them so you need to check if your own country is here okay after that you can now continue to know the eligibility criteria and all of that okay so the duration for this funding the duration is 12 to 42 months depending on the program okay if you are interested in any course that is higher than a year you don't need to worry about about it okay you don't need to worry about about the funding because they're going to fund it they're going to fund your program for up to 42 months okay what are the benefits? The benefits of this scholarship is that you, you get a monthly stipend, okay? If you are going for a master's degree program, you'll be getting a monthly stipend of 934 euros, okay? This is for those going for graduate program. If you are going for a doctorate degree program, you'll be getting a stipend of 1,300 euros monthly, okay? You can see it on my screen here. You can see it depending on academic level monthly payments for uh, monthly payments of 934 euros for graduates or 1300 euros for doctoral candidates okay now the next one is payments towards health accidents and personal liability insurance okay so you have comprehensive coverage of health accidents and personal liability insurance another one is travel allowance okay unless these expenses are covered by your home country or another source of funding but if not they're going to cover your travel allowance to facilitate your mobility 
another thing is the monthly rent okay under certain circumstances scholarship holders may receive the following additional benefits monthly rent subsidy okay to assist you with your accommodation expenses another one is monthly allowance for accompanying members of family so this scholarship also gives the opportunity to study in germany tuition free eliminating financial barriers to higher education okay so it's also a plus and i know you want to explore it so let's look at the eligibility requirements okay this is selection candidates fulfill the necessary academic requirements and can be expected to successfully complete a study program in germany okay above average result for first academic exam that is the first requirement the next one is that candidates have a bachelor degree usually a four-year course in an appropriate subject okay so it must be related to what you are aiming for what you want to apply for the next requirement is that candidates have at least two years professional experience all right and the next one is that candidates can prove their motivation is development rated and be expected to take on social responsibility and initiate and support processes of change in their personal and professional environment after their training and scholarship okay so this means that it is not all courses okay this scholarship is going to favor those who have intention to study programs that that will programs that will effect change do you understand those are the people that this scholarship will, will favor we will look at the courses that are offering later okay they want to see what your motivation is is your motivation development related is your motivation a good one is it a, a personal motivation or you want to you know use it for the benefits of your environment or your country basically that's what they're saying okay so now let's look at the application requirements you know the requirements will be different from country to country okay now let's look at the application requirements for a nigerian who wants to apply for this program okay so i will select my country nigeria right and i'm a graduate going for a master's program so i will click on Niger select nigeria and click on graduate then click on show application requirements okay so now it brings out the requirements for a nigerian like me okay so the typical scholarship holder works either for a public authority or a state or private company in a development a developing country and as such is engaged in the planning and execution of directives and projects with emphasis on development policies having a bearing of technological economical or social areas just like what i said earlier okay then holds a bachelor degree normally four years we've said this before right then the next one is that the academic degree that's your bachelor degree should not be more than six years old okay so if you know that you've graduated and it's been six years or more it's been more than six years then i think at this point you're not eligible okay they want those that have received their degrees from six years downwards okay now the applicants who have been resident in germany for longer than 15 months at the application deadline cannot be considered okay so if you are in germany and you've been there for over 15 months you are also not eligible for this scholarship the next one is the language skill okay so for study courses in germany you need uh, the language german course german language course okay you need to know how to speak german of course but we are going for courses in english right so for courses in english you need a proof of adequate language skills according to the regulations of the respective course for detailed information see the relevant course description of on the course pages okay so we'll go there to see the the requirements 
right let's look at the application procedure okay the application deadline it depends on the choosing program we we'll also see that in a bit right now for the application document applications have only to be sent to the respective course directly i will show you how to do that okay please refer to their respective websites for the application procedure that is the online application now for the application deadline and the documents to be submitted applications sent to the dad will not be forwarded to the respective course and university okay so you can apply for up to three courses if applying to more than one course please list courses in order of priority in the dad application forms so if you want to apply to more than one course you can you have the option of applying to three courses okay but you need to list them in the order of priority so for the application documents required documents in the following order your application documents must be completed and signed okay so you can click on the checklist here you see all of that in there the next one is your dad application remember that the application for the admission is different from the dad application remember that okay please type your answers or make sure they are easy to read this is the dad application form okay this is it's about four pages you need to make sure it is well written you can type in the answers or if you are writing it you need to make sure it is easy to read okay the next thing is a curriculum vitae okay you need your cv in reverse chronological order without any unexplained gaps okay you know that chronological order is you start from from the recent experience first but this is reverse chronological order okay please take note of note of that please use the euro pass template the template is here okay just click on the link for the sake of this video will not be opening everything here okay i will leave the link to this website in the description box okay so when you click on this euro pass template you'll be able to see the template you will use for your cv including exact information about your studies and your experience okay so that is what they need then they they need a letter of motivation okay remember this is you now as a nigerian applying for this scholarship okay they need one letter of motivation with detailed reference to academic professional and personal reasons for applying for the program so you need to while writing the motivation letter you need to include the reasons the academic reason or professional reason or personal reasons why you are applying for this program okay so important they want you to know that when applying for more than one postgraduate course that is maximum of three courses right please also give detailed reasons for your choice of courses and prioritization in the letter of motivation please submit a uniform letter of motivation to all postgraduate degree programs of your choice you also need a letter of recommendation from your current employer so the next one is certificate of employment from the employers showing at least two years of relevant work experience after the bachelor's degree up to the time of application and if possible a guarantee of reemployment of your a guarantee of reemployment from your current employer upon returning home the certificate of employment from the current employer should if possible include a guarantee of reemployment after returning to the home country okay then you also need a recent proof of language skills if you are going for english test it should be ielts or tofel okay note that the institutional tofel is not accepted okay so you need to write ielts or tofel then they also require german test for all courses taught in german they also need copies of your higher education degree certificates okay please provide a certified translation if the original is not in german or german or english and make sure these are clearly legible all right they also need copy of your full set of transcripts of records okay please provide an explanation of the grading system if this is not part of the transcript so to summarize the application and selection procedure is you send your complete applications directly to the postgraduate course then the second step is that the selection committee suggests potential candidates for a dad 
scholarship okay after that the the next step which is step three the suggested candidates will be contacted by the dad scholarship to upload their application to the dad portal okay then step four the selection process will now be finalized and the suggested candidates will be informed accordingly okay important please note make sure that you have a copy of each document of your application ready as those documents as pdf files okay have them in pdf files those documents have to be uploaded to the dad portal in case you are suggested for a dad scholarship remember i told you that if you want to see the list of postgraduate courses with their application deadline you click here okay so this is the place for you to click and you'll be able to see the courses and the deadline okay now look at it here i don't know how it is showing on my screen now but the the template they use is really dark let me increase it okay yeah so you can see this now list of applications deadline when you come here you'll be able to see all the programs they offer and their application deadline so for example master's program in international development economics okay uh it's a 17 months program okay it's it is taught in english the degree is ma duration is 17 months and the application deadline is 31st of august 2024 okay this program will be starting in april 2025 and now let me show you how you'll be able to apply for this program Let's say, for example, you want to apply for master's program in international and development economies. You click on it, okay? When you click on each program, it will bring you to the university where you'll be able to apply for this program. So look at this now. This is international and development economies, okay? So when you come here, you'll be able to read up, you know, find out all the specifics according to this program, okay? The Study program is International and Development Economies, Master of Arts, three semesters, start date is summer, summer semester, 1st of April 2025, English is the language, location, you see the Tres Pole campus, um, yeah, admission requirements, first academic degree, proficiency in English, uh, deadline for application, 30th of September, yeah, 2024, um, total credit point you see all of this when you come here okay you see all of these but i just want to show you how to apply you can read up on every other thing you need then you click on applying here you can see click on applying you will see what it see it brings out applying for april 2025 to apply complete the midday application form you'll be required to upload supporting application documents to the form we recommend having this at hand before starting the application process click on this application form this is where you'll be able to apply for your admission you can see when completing the form please do not use capital letters only so you just start your application and choose mrs then type your first name type the last name as required your citizenship and all of that here you can also see they've listed by the side here they've listed uh, the requirements as well like your work experience your academic background the things they require from you so when you finish filling the first page you click next you move to the next page that is how you'll be able to complete your application okay so the certified hard copies of your university documents will be required only when you've been accepted okay so don't worry about this about sending your hard copies to this university it will only be required only when you've been accepted so just go ahead fill in your application upload your supporting documents make sure they're in pdf form and keep them handy okay so guys i hope this video is helpful and i hope i've been able to clear a lot of things so if you need further clarification just drop it in the comment section and i'll be there to attend to it thank you for watching please don't forget to like this video and i will see you later Bye.